Hey what's up guys it's me Masik Tech and in this video we will install CyanogenMo 13 my Android Marshmallow official version in this device. So first of all also I will tell you you need unlock bootloader and a TWRP recovery. I have already made that video link in the description box. So first of all I will show you how to download this CyanogenMo 13 and gaps. So open your web browser and go to get.cm and after going get.cm so in the left side here in the top there will be asus and you can download the rom asus zenfone 2 720p version also and the 1080p so for the 1080p model download this and this is the sanjo mode recovery and it is the sanjo mode build so you have to download this build so click on it and it will start automatically download so now it's downloading now try time to download the gaps go to opengaps.org and after going it select 86 6.0 and the micro version and one of the stable and the good and it's working so copy these two things in the micro sd card of your phone now get back to your phone and we have to go to the bootloader mode so first of all power of your device by holding power key and after that when it's switched off now hold this volume key and the power key at the same time volume up key and the power key now hold it now when you feel vibration and the vibration stopped then you have to leave both these keys after that you will see boot logo and bootloader mode now you are in the bootloader mode so you have to just uh, navigate through these volume keys so by pressing volume down and up you have to go to the recovery mode so if you haven't flash recovery mode means if you haven't flashed TWR recovery then you have to flash that from my video so now it's booting up and now it's saying keep system read only and you have to give the permission so from the down swipe to give the permission to it now first of all make a backup of current rom if anything goes wrong you can flash your stock rom back now select these things system data and boot and now swipe to make a backup and you have to select the storage to choose micro sd card because in this video we will format the internal storage so take out your backup photos videos etc and also make a backup of your rom this will backup only the rom now after that go to the back and back and then go to this uh, if you want to restore this just click on restore and select storage from here micro sd card sd card and select the restore file now go to wipe advanced wipe check everything except micro sd card and swipe to wipe now it will take few seconds now after that press back go to back back again and then go to install and go to the micro sd card from the downside storage and go to micro sd card internal storage is formatted now go to micro sd card ok and open your where you have put that file signage about 13 you have to browse that so and swipe to install so it will take minimum to 30 40 seconds and after that when it will complete it then you have to press back and time to flash the gaps now go to install and up a level and then browse your gaps where you have put that and then swipe to flash it will again take 30 40 seconds now i'm fast forwarding it so now click on wipe cache and delve cache again now reboot the system so rebooting will take approximately 9 to 10 minutes and sometimes low because if you flashed a high package of gaps is high size then it will take too much time so it is now rebooting and the sign is on mode boot logo and it's optimizing some apps so it will take approximately 10 minutes so after that it will open a setup wizard so after doing setup we will continue so now i have already set up all this and select your launcher i will select google now launcher and now congratulations now marshmallow android version is has been installed in asus zenfone 2 so it's very smooth and i have to say it's really handy and really good better than the stock rom because there are too many blotware and junk file in it so in the settings i will show you the android version android 6.0.1 android marshmallow and also it's Sanjo mode 13 build and official updates comes daily or in two days so you have you can update that rom too so I already make that video how to update uh, in a very shortcut way link in the description box and now you can enable the developer option and go to advanced reboot option and enable that so that you can directly go to recovery bootloader from here and 
here is the root access and you have to enable the root from here don't need to su install super su anything and allow usb debugging for future things and there's no any option available for dark theme in the settings so it's very annoying so in the storage i have 64 gigabytes version and out of the 54.19 577 MB has been used only and we can make SD card as an internal also in this device so link in the description box of that video too you can make SD card as an internal storage so here are your Google data and here's the apps all that apps has been installed which and here's the home you can change the launcher from here and you can change the status bar AMPM and clock and brightness and everything battery percentage so you can change the brightness from here by just holding the status bar and here's the ram so ram is now free of 2.9 gigabyte ram free which is really good and the actually stock room zenfone 2 i almost got only 1.2 or 2 gigabytes ram free so that's it guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up down below and comment in the comment box for any types of question subscribe to the channel for more tech videos i will catch you guys in my next video